as your teammate Jackson made a bit of a backlash on, on Thursday night. Uh, definitely uncalled for. Yeah, obviously, um, you know, I went over the mark. So um, yeah, the boys are pretty quick to get around Jackson. I think um, you know, both publicly and privately. So um, he was in good spirits today at training. Um, I think like anyone, when you have you know you know performance that you maybe. Um, not happy with you just want to get back to train and get around the boys and work on, on what you want to improve and, and get back into the next game so i'm sure he can't wait to play footy this week you've had a bit of mixed um backlash in your career mate the, you've been bagged and but they've also called you the goat mate too <laughs> yeah yeah the highs and lows of uh, rugby league i guess um yeah I, you know, I guess um yeah everyone's got an opinion and that's what uh you know we love about about our fans and about sport is you know it, it um it brings emotion and passion. Um, that's what you want from your supporters. And as I said, you know, um, obviously for young Jackson, on the weekend went too far. But um, as I said, he's in good spirits. So, uh, all part and parcel, I guess, of uh, playing in our own. And it was uh, it was a mighty mighty contest there. We come out of the box a little slow, but we fought back many times and almost snatched a win there at the end. Yeah, yeah, I think. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we, we spoke about it, but yeah, they probably just they just out enthused us a little bit at the start. Um, yeah, we, we we did pretty well to play some good footy, I think, off the back foot. Um, but yeah, certainly, I think we spoke as a forward pack this morning. Um, you know, in the bigger games, you don't want to sort of you don't want to have to rely to rely on you know Cody and that to get us out of trouble off the back foot. We sort of want to start fast and 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 you know through the middle and take the contest to them. I, th I think we probably missed that um, on the weekend, which is something we've been pretty good at, but um, yeah, definitely uh, something, I guess, you'd rather it happen now than, than in a few weeks' time. Yeah, and our game plan's been kicked to the corners, get them coming out deep in their own end, but they flipped the script and done the same thing to us. Yeah, well, I think, um, you know, big games, it's what the, the good teams are, are good at doing. That's what, you know, that's what we want to do to, to them, and unfortunately they did that to us on the weekend, but, um, you know, sort of that period in the second half, uh, you know, halfway through the second half, we sort of didn't really have any ball and, and probably had every right to sort of give the contest away, but we fought back and scored a couple of tries and, um, and you know, got back in front and then unfortunately we just couldn't finish it off, which, you know, has happened a couple of times to us now. So certainly something that we uh, want to work on going into the big games. Yeah, we took them on down the middle there and I'm not saying we lost, but they, they certainly Took it to us, mate. We've got a couple of young forwards. Daniel's looking for feeder. Have you taken him under your wing? Been a, been a veteran of the NRL, mate? Yeah, well, no, I haven't had to, uh, haven't had to take, take him under my wing um, too much, Daniel. He obviously comes from the Roosters, and um, you know, I think I've been impressed with his, his training. He's a good trainer. Um, you know, rips in and, and, he, and he goes hard, and, and that's reflected on the on the weekend and his, in his performances. And um, you know, I think as as any young guy trying to make it in NRL, I think that's that's the thing that some of the young blokes struggle with is just the intensity expected at training and um, doing that week in week out throughout the whole year, year after year. Um, that's what brings some young guys undone. So it's good to see he's got that. And your front row partner, the big Tom, um, looks like he's not far away. Yeah, he's uh, he's had a bit of a sore groin, old Tommy, but um, I think he's I think he's ready to go this week. So he'll be uh, he'll be good for us. You know, he's obviously a hard hard man to handle in the middle, and um, yeah, makes it a bit easier for the rest of us to run off his quick play balls. Yeah, for sure, mate. Um, you got a bit of a scar on the top of your head, mate. If that's not related to the addition of the new child, is it? That's from the footy, is it? Yeah, no, another uh, <laughs> another scar to the collection. Luckily, I got married a few years ago and did, did the smart thing and uh, locked down Perry before she uh, realised. How's, getting, getting uglier. How's it all going, mate, with the family? Yeah, good, good. Um, the little one's a week old now, so uh, the family's growing and I'm quickly getting outnumbered by girls, but um, wouldn't have it any other way. Congratulations on behalf of Rabbitohs Fan TV, mate. Um, we've got the cows this week, another big contest, another top four team. Um, we're looking to get it over them here at home at Acor. Yeah, they're running, running second and um, obviously had a really impressive year, so uh, another Another good chance for us to uh, to test ourselves against um, good opposition, and uh, we haven't we haven't you know with the way the draw works, we haven't played them yet. So um, looking forward to uh, testing ourselves against you know a lot of those guys that are in good form. Yeah, for sure, mate. Good luck on behalf of Rabbitohs fan TV. Cheers, mate. On your game. Thanks, mate.